Hey, what's up guys? It's time for a new tutorial today, and today we're going to do some cool text animation. So let's see what we're going to do. Text animation is always nice to have, as you use them quite often in your products. And today we're going to do three cool animations. And if you don't want to miss upcoming videos, don't forget to subscribe. But for now guys, let's jump into the tutorial. Okay, let's make this a text whip. So we go up to composition and make a new composition. Press OK. Now I'm going to take the text tool and uh, type text whip. Like so. And then can we go and align it? Then we're going to do go down to this text layer here and add an animate. We're going to add a position. And here can we probably go down to around 180, I think. Around there, that's fine. And then can we go into the range selector and we're going to go into here to advanced. We're going to change the shape here and we're going to set it to ramp up. So we get this leaning text down here. Then can we begin to set the keyframe here. We're going to set the amount and we set a keyframe there. And then can we go about um, 7 uh, frames forward. And we can use the page down key to get those 7 steps forward here. Like so. And then can we set this to um, minus 90 degrees like so. And then can we go forward uh, 6 steps. Like so. And we can set this to 45. And then can we go forward um, 5 steps. And we can set this to minus 20. Like so. And then can we go forward uh, 4 steps. And we can set this to a 0. Like so. Let's see what we have here. We can first um, mark those layers and press F9 to, so we um, ease the ease them. Let's see here what we have. Let's set the end frame there so we can repeat this. Yeah, that looks fine. Now that we have the whip, now we're going to um, add the rotation here so it um, rotates. Or we can mark the layer and press rotate. And we, at first, are we going to do so? We, we zoom out and we're going to take the um, R shop point here. We're going to drag this out to around here. So we get the rotation from this point. And now I'm going to set a um, keyframe here. And we can go forward a bit here. We can press um, U so we can uh, see the keyframes, other keyframes. We're going to meet up there. And here are we going to um, drag this. We're going to set the start over here. So we mark those and press F9 like so. And now can we see what we have here? That looks perfect. That's nice. Can we drag this out so we can... Let's see here. Let's see, one second. Then can we make a new keyframe here? And then can we go forward a couple of frames? And then do we drag this down? The Let's see, 3 degrees. I think that's fine. Then do we go forward a couple of frames? And then do we go back, back here? Let's see here. Now that we have the in. And now that we have the out. Maybe I want to have that a little bit longer here. Should be. So it's built up that movement to shoot away. Yeah, like so. That looks fine. Let's make it big. Yeah, there we do. We have that uh, whipping text. Now can we do the wiggle text? We go up to uh, the composition and make a new composition and press OK. Then we take a text tool and type text wiggle. Like so, and then can we align it? 
so on. And then we're going to open up here and add some animate here. The first we're going to add is the position and then are we going to um, go down here and add a um, scale. So now that we have those two uh, properties here, we're going to drag this down to around 300 I think. Like so I'm going to uh, set the scale to um, 0, we type in the 0 like so. Then are we going into um, the range selector? And here we're going to add a keyframe. So we set this to uh, zero there. Then can we go forward around one and a half second and uh, set that to 100. And then can we mark the keyframes and press F9. Like so. Let's see what we have. Now do we have that. And then we're going to add another. We're going to add a wheel here. So and we can go down to the wheel and set the wiggle second to a 20. Let's see what we have now. What does that look? That looks fine. We're also going to um, activate the motion blur. So we get motion blur when it moves. Like so. That looks fine. Now we're going to add some opacity keyframes so we can get some um, opacity in and out. Press T for opacity and we can um, add a keyframe here. We can drag this forward a little bit like so. Then can we drag this down to zero so we get an um, in and out point. And we can mark those and press F9 to easy ease them like so. Now do we have this in point. We can mark the layer and press U so we get the, to see the keyframes like so. Now can we do like so, we um, set a new um, keyframe here, now we set a um, keyframe around a little, little more than half a second, we can drag this down to zero like so, and then can we set a keyframe here for the opacity and set this to zero, and we can go back here and set this to 100. Like so. so now there should we have an um, out point too. Let's see what we have. Perfect, we have our wiggle out and in there. So let's do the text blur here. So we go up to the composition, make a new composition. That's okay. We take the text tool and type uh, text blur. So uh, we go in and align it to the center. Let me go down to this layer here and add an animate. We are going to add a skew. See here, we're going to add a um, scale. We're going to add a blur. So we can set the um, scale to zero. So now we can set the skew to around 70. Can set the axis to 150 so and then can we set the blur to let's say 75 then can we go to the range selector we're going to set a keyframe here at the start and then can we go forward around let's see one second let's see i think that's fine so we can mark those and press F9. See how that goes. I think that's fine. I think that's a good speed. Yeah. So that's a good speed. So now can we do the Alt? We um, set a new keyframe. Go forward. So and we can set it zero again. So. Now that we have this in and out. And then we have our three cool text animations. And I hope you have a use for them. And as always, it will be fun to see your work. So uh, leave a comment uh, below and show your work. And if you like the video, please uh, give it a thumbs up. But for now guys, it's time to say over and out.